Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you another design that is one balloon design. And from here we're going to practice uh, the idea to make a small you know, shapes because it's all in one balloon and this is going to be a hamster. And thank you Sarah for giving me the idea to make this. So there we go, let's start it. You will need a brown or maybe orange can work too, you know, for the hamster. And then uh, play with those tones orange brown maybe some even blush or uh, ivory because there is hamster different colors even black but there we go now let's inflate it right now it doesn't really matter but at least you know like it's what is this seven finger toe because when you do this first you're gonna just from here make a bubble look a bubble one finger bubble twist 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 then another one finger bubble twist 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 and kind of you have these two, now cut it, leaving the tip because you're going to tie it. So cut it, look, this is the tip, okay? And make sure you tie this. Now, this, every time you're going to tie something that you already separated, the balloon, you're going to start losing some air. So that way, it's going to be easier. So lose some air, and that is, you're going to have something like this. Okay, so this is still... Uh, like approximately seven eight finger toe this 260 brown and now here you see i'm already kind of also losing the air but i still have the tip so you already have this measure if this can twist it's okay but make sure you tie it and tie it as close as you can from what you cut as because it's much better when it's soft and squishable so now it can twist it's okay but you have this kind of idea to separate it in half so you have something like this, and because you twist here, look, you have a space. Okay, twist, 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 having some space there. And this can be between your fingers. So it can be between here, while you keep twisting the rest, if you want. Now, from here, look, you're gonna make like a two finger bubble pinch twist, another two finger bubble pinch twist. So now we have the cheeks. Okay, and then from here, in order to kind of like right up, trying to put this in the design already, you're gonna measure like three finger bubble and then twist a little bit and put it there in between. And now close it like this with another three finger bubble. Okay, and pass it around. Now, when you have that, you're gonna end up here in the front. So this piece, you, if you're in a hurry, you can leave it like that. Okay, maybe a little bit up, but also later, if you have more time, you never know, you can make a pinch twist in each, pinch twist in each side. So let's pull the nozzle, make a pinch twist there, and that's gonna kind of give it a more clean uh, idea to this design. So there you go. Now, this piece, now we're gonna make like a no more than two finger long pinch twist. Soft and squishable, something like this, and pinch twist, okay? And that is pretty much the head for this cute idea of a hamster. Um, now, look at this because it's very similar to the little cute bird that is in the design. Now, what it change? The hair on top, there are three pinch twists here. There's no really three pinch twists, but it's two that I already put it, you know, from between those two bubbles. So, but then they're kind of the same idea. The only thing is also you may not have a no balloon to do much detail here. So look at my first intention here. Well, my first intention was something like this. <laughs> and this kind of made me think about Yoshi, the dinosaur from Mario Bros, for some reason. But then came this idea. And the hands separated, but I like the idea of the, the legs and this. But in order to make it into one balloon, okay, it's going to be this version, much easier. Now, a sticker eyes can change. The tail, very simple, okay? And a sticker eyes, you don't have to. You can just make two dots, black, that's it. That's, that can be the most simple way. But look what makes this as a hamster. One thing is the white Sharpie. 
and you don't have to make the belly really we're gonna see all the the transformation about this design but i just wanted to share with you this so you have the idea what how it's been the process in order to make this design and i like the idea that remember there is a playlist in this channel that is uh, one balloon design and this is going to be there also the chick and the bunny and a lot of other designs so check it out okay so now let's keep going so i like the idea in order to use all these balloons and you know it's this way look i'm gonna start making two finger long yeah I'm trying to make it soft and squishable here and then make two finger long another two finger long another two finger long and another two finger long that's it easy now let's put all this together twist it together those four bubbles twist it together and then make sure you're gonna start with the belly twist whatever is here like like four finger long pass it twist 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 pull the other side to the back and make sure another four finger long and then twist it all and whatever is left over this is something good you can if you want make a pinch twist to the back but it's not necessary you know just a little bubble so look at this idea in case you don't know you can make a bubble to the end of all of these pop it it's going to be easier if you make a bubble and then with your nails you know pop it and as tight as the bubble is going to be easier to pop it now loose the other slowly because from here you decide if you want to make this bubble as a pinch twist sometimes it's an option so that means i leave there a little bubble tie them and then just from there all this little tip all these things gonna help me to wrap it around and secure things so you just pull pass this around and that is automatically making your pinch twist but at the same time securing things so you have things like this look chop 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 look at this cute design one balloon design i think it's cute i think it's simple and really uh we are practicing to make designs that really with one balloon it can be surprising what do you need now is sharpie time now this can also be as a very cute teddy bear don't you think this can be a lot of other things so think about that if you want to consider it as a teddy bear, it can be a teddy bear. It can be a lot of other things too. Um, a hippo. I can see a hippo. <laughs> can you see a hippo? Maybe the only difference, maybe this pinch too, you make it bigger. And it can be a very cute hippo, very small one balloon hippo. Okay, but this is going to be my basic also for the hamster. And now from here, I'm going to do everything with Sharpie. And I'm going to start thinking, what happens if I only have black? Okay. I can start first the eyes, circle here and circle the other side. You can make more elaborated, just doing like this. Make eyebrows to the sides, then here a nose, a little circle, or it can be even a heart. It's gonna help if you add this uh teeth idea and then look here pium, pium, two lines pium, pium. now this already can be your representation of a hamster because hamsters they look like bunnies but the ears are shorter really in the back you can make just something like this you can just a little tail because it doesn't have really big tail it's very short that somebody cannot even see the tail there you go you can just leave that there now Imagine if you have another color. What other color could be? White, pink. So as more colors you have, I think a simple one balloon design can be better. I'm looking at my lid. I don't know where I, you know, the cover. Oh, here. It's black. It's hard to find it. Okay, so you have this. Uh, so imagine if you have pink, use your pink. Uh, so you have magenta. It's a Sharpie. And now... Where to add the cheeks? Well, you can add it anywhere here, maybe. Just two circles, two dots. That's it. Also, the nose, why not? And that's it. Now, if this is for Valentine's, imagine you wanted Valentine's, add a sticker heart. 
anything right now. If it's for Valentine's, add your sticker heart. I'm looking for my stickers. And look, I have really here these stickers. So I'm gonna put it a red sticker right here. And Chukochu, yes. Look at this, even a little bit more elaborated. Now, white Sharpie, yes. Shaky, shaky. And where to add a white Sharpie? There's a styles of hamsters, and this is one. If you add, just look, because it's one balloon, this is not much to cover. You may think, oh, Cecilia, but that's gonna take me forever. Not really. And that is totally can make the design much more elaborated, much more cooler. It's like, wow, it's a hamster. And then also here, you can add some chi teeth. And another place, you can even hear, you know, right here next to the mouth, you can make this. Something detailed because they do have some white there. So you can cover that a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, really. I'm just covering a little bit of white there because it has some white there. If you want, you know, that those are ideas. And really, when you are at the event, just like this, it's totally a very cute hamster. Don't you think? Don't you think? Cover this part. A chop chop. And this is a very cute representation, I think, of a hamster. I think this can be a very cool menu. You can put, you know, this design and this one. And then it's also another cute one that is the bunny. And then you cut. I love it. I love it. Sometimes it's simple is beauty uh, for kids. You know, kids, you get surprised what they like. They just like the simple balloon sword. And when I have a picture in my menu of my uh, bunny, they love it. The kids love the bunny I made. And it's very cool because it's fast. It's fast to make. The same as this. This is a very fast, cute design. And depending how much time you have at the party, you see there's not many people waiting in line. You can always make it more elaborated. You can add more details, stickers. But this is kind of basic, simple. And I hope you like it. Don't forget, tag me. That way, I can share pictures at the end of my videos. Okay, I'm waiting for your pictures. So send it to me. You can email me as a, 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 as alpaca global at gmail. That's my email, alpaca global at gmail. Or you can also um, just tag me on social media. If you have Instagram or TikTok, tag me. That way I will be able to see it and kind of like a screenshot the picture of your design and then at the end of my videos, you will see your, your pictures and everybody else here in this channel. So. I think that's very cool, totally helps each other to be motivated too. If someone can do it, I can do it, and we all can do these designs, especially this one. Don't you think it's kind of like something that everybody can do it? Now, play with different colors. What happens if you have white and you don't have brown? Play with that, and instead of brown, uh, white Sharpie, you go with brown Sharpie. So what happens if um you have um pink? I don't know, play with any color, and let's see what happens, and share it on the pictures. Um, let's see what else. Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam is the balloon convention. I'm already registered, so I'm inviting everybody because that can be the perfect opportunity to meet each other, to jam together in person. And I think it will be uh, unforgettable times because um, it's not just me that you will meet. You will meet other balloon lovers, people that love balloons, and we just love this moment. It's special. It's like the time stops there. No, Nothing else matters. That's that moment, beautiful to just celebrate the joy of balloons. And um, there's more information about this awesome balloon convention there, www.blingblingjam.com. You can also contact, I, I'm sure on the website you will see a cell phone number or an email, contact the organizers because they are really nice people and super friendly and they can give you all, all answer all your questions. And uh, what else? I'm thinking, what else is there to say? It's like, Cecilia, usually your videos last super long time, like 20 minutes at least. I know, I know. And I like that because I think that is helping me. Um, when it's 20 minutes, it's much um, easier for me to even upload it to YouTube. The whole editing, you know, is much faster than when I make 30 minutes videos or an hour minute videos or those live videos that are three hour videos. Those are like taking the whole, whole day, even the next day, keep uploading to have a good resolution. 
But these ones, you see, that's the other cool thing. You can see these are fast designs. And then just taking time is telling you other things. Other things like Las Vegas Glen Pinjam Balloon Convention. Like, uh, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Please check below in the description for my videos. You will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel. Because in this channel, I do appreciate tips. I do appreciate your collaboration, your support. I have a Venmo, a PayPal account. I have an Amazon wish list. And also, I have my address. So in the description of all my videos, you will find my address. So you can send stuff, anything, everything is very well appreciated. Balloons, Sharpies, markers, any brand, um, the, the long skinny balloons, those, the twisting balloons, any brand really, I, I appreciate it because I can practice, you see, <laughs> I can use it more. Also, if you go check my Amazon wish list, you will find ideas. What else can I, you know, um, how can I uh, collaborate with the balloon lady? Oh, let's check it out and her Amazon wish list so I can see ideas what she would like to have. Because really, it totally motivates me. It makes me feel very special and happy that you appreciate this channel because you learn, you know, how to twist awesome figurines. And, um, and yeah, so it feels good. So I hope you can uh, collaborate. I'm thinking, what else? What else to share? Hmm. Oh, no, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Uh, stay tuned, you know, sometimes if you're new to this channel, you know, sometimes I go into live videos and I don't really have exactly the date when is the live video is kind of like surprise. But if you subscribe to the channel and activate that bell and notification, that way you will uh, know, oh, it's a live. Let's see. Let's check it out. Because sometimes I'm at events and twisting balloons at that moment. So you can see the balloon lady on action. That means you can also see how it is designs that I show you in tutorials, but put it to them faster because there the idea is to be fast. So then you cover more kids and that's what clients like. My clients love that I'm fast and I can make lots of balloons very fast so that they feel, you know, okay, it's worth it. I know we all, you know, kind of also like the idea of art that takes time. Yes, that's good. And that's why some things I make it, you know, that takes forever. That's why I don't even make it a tutorial because it takes forever. <laughs> but when I'm at events, I'm trying, especially people hire me because I'm fast and people want me to be there for line twisting. That's one of the biggest, most uh, common, um, what is things that people hire me is for line twisting, school festivals, Easter parties, you know, at the library that is open to the public. So it's hundreds of hundreds of people. So I know they like line twisting. They hire me for that. When I go to birthday parties, now that's another way. I really take more of my time and make things more elaborated. I know I heard that request about making a monkey from Boots, from Dora the Explorer. The thing is, you know what happens sometimes when I to go to weddings or birthday parties? People like to challenge me. And they, of course, go on Google and see what I can ask the balloon lady. Sometimes they've been figurines from these amazing um, balloon artists that make a masterpiece out of balloons and they want me to you know they show me the picture from because they can they everybody have cell phones and they say i want this and i have to be honest okay that would take me an hour like probably that's what the artist took you know to make this design but i'm hired only for an hour so sorry you know you should you need to hire me for an hour everything is possible <laughs> but of course, you can always say that, you know, that sometimes if, if you think this is that is going to be too hard, you can say that. I think this, you know, it will take an hour, two hours, and there's not enough time. But I can make another version of whatever they ask you for. Or you can always say no. It's fine to say no. Especially if you already have a repertoire. You have your own design. You have your own style. And keep it that. That's good, too. But, for example, with... People, when I go to birthday parties and they ask me, and there's things that I see, I, I see the design and I say, yeah, I can make it. Okay. And I can see, yeah, this can be, you know, what? Less than 10 minutes. Okay. So that's what happened with that um, boots, the monkey from Dora the Explorer. The, the only thing is, uh, is, it's not my design. So I can show you the way because I see it that the, the person, you know, that client to show me the picture on their cell phone but it didn't say it, who made it or anything so i don't know who, who you know was the first person making it into balloons mm. but i can share you know with you how i kind of like figure it out how to make it 
probably that's coming in another video and um and probably it's different than maybe the person who did it oh, but uh yes so yeah sometimes it happens I, there is designs that are impressed that i made it that people just show me the picture no of a, a picture of a or oh, a general, you know, design that drawing thing that is not out of balloons. No, some people go straight and ask me for that balloon animal from pictures on Google that probably they find it on Pinterest or even Instagram. But um, there's some really cute that I made and and I kind of like that because made me think that uh, <laughs> that it, it is possible, right? Sometimes you think, no, it's not possible to do it, especially at events, but it is. The only one thing that I recommend is to keep practicing, keep practicing, keep twisting, so you your brain is fresh with ideas, techniques, and finding and figure it out, figure it out easier how to do things there faster. Okay, I'm leaving now. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to tag me, send me pictures of the designs you are learning because you're watching this channel. That way, I can share it at the end. Okay, have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.